Cameron Hogwood. Interviews, comment, Deshaun Watson. Cleveland Browns set to trade for Houston Texans quarterback. Deshaun Watson did not play during the 2021 season after civil lawsuits were filed against him by 22 women alleging sexual assault and misconduct. Watson recently learned he will not face criminal charges. Deshaun Watson has waived the no-trade clause in his contract with the Houston Texans to be traded to the Cleveland Browns, according to reports. NFL Network's Ian Rapoport and Tom Pelissero report that Watson will get a fully guaranteed five-year deal worth $230 million, with compensation over his prospective. Trade still to be confirmed. Recommended. One-fifth. NFL legend Tom Brady backtracks on retirement and confirms return to Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2022. Read more. Recommended by Rapoport adds that the trade will see the Texans receive three first-round picks, a third-rounder and late-round pick swap, a fourth for a fifth. The news comes after Watson had held meetings with the New Orleans Saints, Atlanta Falcons and Carolina Panthers earlier in the week. Cleveland, along with the Panthers, had initially been informed they were out of the running for Watson, who has now seemingly changed his mind in order to team up with Kevin Stefanski. Watson's arrival is meanwhile expected to see Baker Mayfield traded after his request to be moved on had reportedly been rebuffed by the Browns on Thursday. A Texas grand jury recently declined to indict Watson following accusations of sexual misconduct by 22 women, meaning he will not face criminal charges. Brady announces NFL return, unfinished business. Russell Wilson's blockbuster trade. What does it mean? Watson, who did not play during the 2021 season, still faces 22 civil lawsuits accusing the 26-year-old of indecent conduct during massage sessions, while he also remains subject to an NFL investigation and potential discipline under the league's personal conduct policy. It's definitely a very emotional moment for me, Watson told reporters after a jury cleared him of criminal charges. I know we're far from being done of handling what we need to handle on the legal side, but today is definitely a big day. I thank everyone that was a part of this, of seeing and hearing both sides, and that's what my point and my team wanted to do is have a fair slate of us. Telling our side of the story and letting the conclusion come down to what happened today, and that's what the grand jury decided on. I am just going to keep fighting to rebuild my name and rebuild my appearance in the community, and on the legal side handle what we need to handle. But also ready to get on the field and prep for that. Watson, the 12th overall pick out of Clemson at the 2017 draft, is a three-time pro bowler and led the NFL in passing yards in 2020 alongside a career-high 33. Touchdown sand 70.2 completion percentage to seven interceptions. He requested a trade from the Texans before the allegations emerged last January having reportedly becoming frustrated after the organization failed to bring him in on the appointment of a new general manager. Watson signed a four-year $177 million contract extension in Houston ahead of the 2020 campaign, the inclusion of a no-trade clause giving him the power with regards to where he would land. Houston's asking price has always been three first-round picks at a minimum. The departure of Watson in addition to veteran free agent Tyrod Taylor, who is signing with the New York Giants, is expected to see the Texans move forward. With Davis Mills as their starting quarterback in 2022. Davis, a 2021 third round pick out of Stanford, finished his rookie year 263 of 394 passing for 2,664 yards and 16 touchdowns to 10 interceptions over 13. The team meanwhile entered the upcoming campaign under new leadership following the promotion of Lovey Smith to head coach in the wake of David Cullies.